going to do another start challenge using a data pack from somebody named Funky Talk. I saw this on the uh, Waddles channel on YouTube. And we've got all of the standard rules. I didn't change anything in here. Let's do this. Uh, there we go. And of course, it embeds me in the rock. I have done this a couple of times. I beat it once. So the secret to beating this seems to be first find a forest, warped or crimson, get some wood, and then find food, and then start picking up all the gold you can find. And somewhere in there, find some blackstone, make some stone tools. Well, let's see what we break through into here. I guess we could be cheap and just check and see what we're in. Nether waste, great. Can't gather any blocks until you have some wood either. Hopefully we'll break through here in a second. Hopefully I'm not nose to nose with the ghast. Wouldn't that be funny? He'd have that surprised look on his face right before he blew me to bits. Oh! Tap out a few more in this direction and try another direction. I don't want to dig a 10 mile tunnel. If I don't drop this anchor, or if I do like I've done many times and forget to actually set the anchor point after I charge it up, uh, then we're going to end up somewhere else with a new anchor. Oh, I think I hear a piglin. I do hear a piglin. I'm sure of it. And we're approaching that 10 mile tunnel territory. You know what, if we break out in front of a piglin, he's going to probably try to punch us in the face, so probably shouldn't break through there yet. Delightful fellows that piglins are. We should probably try to find somewhere that there's not a piglin waiting to punch us in the face. I am uh, basically unarmed. I might win that fight unless he's got friends, which he probably has friends. Forget kicking ironwood trees or whatever they do to deaden the nerves in their legs when they do martial arts. I'm freaking punching netherrack. I won't be able to feel anything in my whole forearm or fist. Or maybe he already can't. Maybe that's why he can punch his way through rock. And That's what it is. Since the stuff doesn't break into a block when you don't use a tool, his fists are just so powerful that they just obliterate stone and whatever this is. But what is netherrack? I mean, you bake it, so it must be clay-like. Ten miles in this direction. I'm not hearing any gas or pigs. Are we still in the nether waste? Yeah, we are still in the nether waste. Not lucky enough to have landed on a border, apparently. Uh, it's really not a good idea to be having the block you're breaking right in your face. We have gone a long way. Let's try another direction. We have got to be close to something in one of these directions. It would be hilarious if I... Ooh, ding. Like that. That was that was what I was just about to say would be hilarious. It started out in one direction and it was just lava. And that's exactly what happened. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Into the hallway here. Eh. Reach. Okay. Well, now we don't have any nether rack anymore. Do we keep digging? No, nah, let's keep digging. Nope, no more lava there. Let's spin one of those little lava pockets. Gives new meaning to the term hot pocket. Back to punching nether rack after that momentary burst of excitement. Wouldn't 
that'd be funny if this nether start challenge ended with me just starving to death trying to dig my way out of this nether rack. Yeah, I don't think you can starve on normal. I don't think you can starve to death until you hit uh, hard. <laughs> Mushrooms are going to be my goal, especially if we uh, find some. Because all you need for that is wood and two kinds of mushroom. Although the other nether start challenge... I did a mix of mushroom soup and the hoglins. Just made a wooden sword and I saw in the video where uh, he like built up three blocks and ah, we've broken through to something. Looks like a whole lot of nothing though. I don't have any building blocks. Maybe I can staircase down to that. That is decidedly not forest. Looks like we might just have to drop. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Uh, a whole lot of despair. Just general despair around here. Well, since I've got the two kinds of mushrooms I need, I kind of hope I find a warp forest because those are a little bit uh, less stressful. The last or the time that I beat the Nether Start, I was in a crimson forest, and boy, that was a lot of dying. Hog wounds would kill me, and then I'd respawn, and the pig wounds would kill me because I didn't have any gold armor. That's why you plan for the future, kids. Always make sure you have enough gold at your base to make some armor or just keep something because that way they won't want to kill you. That was a zombie, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. We good. We good. I was just remarking the other day how it's kind of the opposite in the nether. In the overworld, you like living mobs. They're usually nice. And the undead stuff is usually what wants to kill you. In the nether, it's the opposite. It's the living stuff that wants to kill you and the undead that don't care. That looks like a soul sand valley. That is definitely where I do not want to be. Oh. Huh. Ah, I could go over and punch that ghast. That's funny. He's like wedged over there. I've never seen that before. That's funny. Oh yeah, something good to get when you're starting out, especially if you're going to use meat to eat, is getting some soul sand. Because if you have soul sand or soul soil, you can make a campfire. Oh, uh, he's free. And he's probably about to shoot at me. Yep, there he is. Oh, bad time to lag. Hey, there's a, at least a forest. Ugh, broke my leg trying to get to it. No piglins. No piglins. Did I hear a piglin? I wonder how many times we're going to get steamrolled in this one. Oh, yeah, I didn't grab those other mushrooms. That was what I forgot. Well, we don't have anything to eat yet. Maybe I should go back for them. Maybe I should try to get some nether gold first. Then we don't have to care if we run into piglins. Then the piglins become our useful dupes. Thump. I love the sound that those shroom lights make when they break. This is what it looks like when an average Joe plays Minecraft. Not one of those professional YouTubers. Well, like one of those other guys that we like to watch play Minecraft. They'd already be riding a hoglin around on a leash. Sorry, saddle. A lead, I'm sorry. I was actually picturing more like a bridle and a, you know, a bit when I said that, so... It's not even a thing that exists in this game. Man, this is kind of a little island of a thing here. Where should I set up camp? Was that a... What was that? That sounded like a piglin. Don't really want to meet one of those. Yeah, maybe we should stay over here. There is some nether gold I can grab. Maybe I'll make my thing down here. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's uh, stop that up. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of boots. As in, it would be really useful if you give me enough gold to make some boots. This might do the trick. Come to papa. Alright, now I don't care about making piglins mad. By mining the gold, because they're going to be mad at me for not having gold anyway. It's capitalism, everybody. Just kidding. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Is that just a kid? I think that's just... Oh, that's not a kid. And I think I've got just enough for boots. Look at that. Boots. Sweet. Awesome. Now only the hoglins are trying to kill me. Hey guys. Uh, ooh, thank you. Thank you so much. You are so kind. That's probably what we're going to be dining on is lots of pork chops. Still need to get some soul sand. I'm mining a mushroom with a mushroom. That was a weird noise. But I guess it's the nether. It's kind of made of weird noises. Although, after spending this much time, at least in the new nether, it's mostly non-threatening. It's actually surprising how few things are super dangerous here. I mean, the lava, of course. You just crouch, though, and you can usually avoid that. Unless you do something stupid, which I, is my specialty. 
I fall in the lava on not too infrequent occasions. There's a buttload of gold right there. That's a metric buttload, not a imperial measurement. Let's build us up a shroud of invisibility. Uh, yeah, that's not high enough. Let's see. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. Let's try it. I used to play Descent back in the day. Hey, hey, excuse me. Move. My gold. When those ghasts shriek like they're shooting a fireball at you, it kind of inspires that same feeling as those robots that had those, uh, what do you call those, those chain guns. They made this horrible screech. I do need to get over there at some point and get some of that sweet, sweet soul sand. We're going to make a bridge. And yes, we were looking for mushrooms, but I am extremely scatterbrained, so we just kind of go from one thing to the next. That's my own personal nether start challenge is the challenge is staying focused on one topic. Grab me a handful of this, get two for good measure, and get out of this very dangerous place. But now we're just looking for those mushrooms. Where did I leave those mushrooms at? Gold, 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 gold. There are brown mushrooms around here, and I know it. Just don't remember where we came in from. Not that. Not that either. Oh. Huh. What do you want? I got my gold. Got my boots on anyway. This is exactly the kind of way I lose my bases when I build a base and then I go wandering around and it's just like, oh, where'd it go? Guess I'm homeless now. Is there any mushrooms over here though? I haven't really looked around because I didn't want to come nose to nose with a skeleton or nose to hole. Skeletons don't really have noses anymore, do they? How did I even get up here? Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, what do you want? You didn't see me mining that gold. I mean, nothing happened here. None of your business. Seriously, how did I get up here? Is there like shifting land masses or something? Hey, uh, yeah. Do you know how I got up here? Hey, don't push me down. Hey, look at that. That's why they call it Minecraft. You just start digging and you get somewhere. There's another mushroom. Not the kind I need, but the kind I deserve, I guess. Aha! We're gonna get to eat! I know I'm carrying around pork chops, but I want mushroom soup. Besides, I want to save this. I want to save these pork chops for when I have more pork chops. I know that doesn't make any sense, but... There we go. Hey, hey, hey! Quit trying to push me. Aha! I think that's the ones I was looking for. Ah, oh, yes. No? Fine. Be that way. I got lots of others. You weren't special. I can replace you. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Now I have more brown mushrooms than red mushrooms. We will find balance eventually. I just have to destroy half of my mushrooms. Isn't that how it works? That's what the movies tell me. Is this finally some bone that's not guarded by other bones with scary weapons? I think it is. My bone. Ha 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 ha. More bone. Ha 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 ha. I do not know what I will do with whole bone blocks yet, but I will do something by George. What's a good spot for a base? We got the stuff for the campfire. Oh, piglins, I guess, know how to open doors, but they don't know how to open fence gates. So we will take advantage of their stupidity. I'm sorry, that was an insensitive term. Their uh, passageway impairment, impairment, I don't know. It's very sad, but we're going to take advantage of it anyway. Oh, is that a broken brown mushroom? Oh, oh, ah, is that where I broke the brown mushrooms at? That's funny. Once I have some other types of blocks, I can start marking these stairways and get lost a lot less. This is going to be so funny when I watch it in replay. And I'm like, go that way, doofus. That way. Oh, come on, not that way. That's like a 20 minute detour. And I think I'm about to feel the gas fireballs on my butt. He's about to toast my buns. This is, oh, that, is that a chicken? That's a chicken. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Time to hide. Come on. Oh boy. What is that chicken doing around here? I don't even know what direction these fireballs are coming from. Who? 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 Oh my Why is this Crimson Forest a parkour course? I think I lost him. 
Boy, this is certainly a change of pace from the starting point. I'm desperately running for my life from a ghast. And I have no tools. And I'm getting very hungry. Boy, that is a lot of gold. Hopefully I don't jinx myself saying that. It's a lot of gold. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Yeah. Got me some mushroom soup. Why is that ghast still floating around? Go home, buddy. There we go. Got some nice cover here. Beautiful view of the lava ocean. I guess we'll set up here for now. I think I'm going to dig into the wall. Not a whole lot of space there. Too bad they don't want to trade in other quartz. There's quite a bit of that stuff. With one block left, we are still operating with wood and nothing else. That is not ideal. We'll lay down our spawn anchor. Set a respawn point. Really don't want them spawning in here. We're going to have to work on that. Let's make this place spawn proof. Out. Stay out. Bam. Moving on. Let's get our ingots here. Yeah. 20 ingots. Love it. I need an axe. I hate making axes that aren't stone, though. Well, I hate making axes made of wood. Other non-stone axes, or, yeah, iron and diamond axes are cool. It's just wood axes that just feel wasteful. Yeesh. I've got to do something about that one. And we need to find a basalt delta. Get some blackstone going on in here. Get uh, enough planks for a chest. There we go. Chest. And let's see, we'll dig the chest into the floor here. So it doesn't look ridiculous floating. We need the planks to make the sticks. Now that we have the sticks, we can make the fire. I'd like to have a little fireplace area. I guess we can use that as a placeholder. Bam. Kick it up a notch. I have a whole setup I'm going to do over here. What can we do about this? Because we need some blackstone. But blackstone is not super common in these biomes. Just just gathering mushrooms. Nothing nothing going on here. Well we have a small problem. Don't seem to be able to locate a basalt delta. I haven't seen any random blackstone. So we are stuck with wooden tools for the moment, unless we want to make some gold tools, which I guess is also an option. And there goes it in the lava. Great. Fine. Be that way. It feels like it should be right over here. Is this the stairs down to it? That's the stairs down to it. I thought it was over here. Why did I leave that there like that? Could have had something spawn in here. Slab, slab, slab. Uh, slab slab and I'm three short perfect so you can use them there we go okay now nothing should be able to spawn in here okay 